and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel today guys because coming right up is some big, big news indeed as today we're going to be going over all of the details from the huge sponsorship deal that Barca are set to sign with Spotify and we are going to be comparing side by side that new deal with Spotify compared with our current deal with Rakuten. Plus of course, what we have to discuss too is the resignation of the club's CEO. It's all coming up. Never a quiet day at this club. Let's do it. Because let's first of all start with that big breaking news this morning that I think came very unexpectedly, I have to say, because Barca's CEO, Ferran Reverter, has officially resigned from his position as the club's CEO. That was confirmed there by Barcelona this morning. And I do have to say, that is quite a big deal. That is quite a significant moment there for the club, because this right here in Ferran Reverter is the man who's been working so, so hard behind the scenes, especially on the financial side since Laporta came back into office. He's been the one there masterminding these very clever financial tricks that we've been seeing to really help Barca get out of the financial mess that was left by the previous board. And of course given the quite abrupt announcement of his departure and indeed the timing of it, there have been plenty of rumours circulating this morning in the Spanish media. Some people are saying maybe Ferran Reverter was not in favour of this upcoming Spotify deal. Maybe he would have rather go elsewhere or struck it slightly differently. We're going to be discussing that deal, of course, in a moment. Other people are saying maybe he hasn't been getting on well with Laporta over these past few months. But what I also want to draw your attention to here, away from all of that speculation, is the official statements from the club and indeed Ferran Reverter himself. Because first of all, the club announced that Reverter informed Juan Laporta today of his wish to resign from his position as the chief executive officer. And they say right there, there, that it's for personal and family reasons only. That is the only cause there of that departure. And I also want to bring you what Reverter himself said, because in his own words, he said it is almost a year now since I left Germany to return to Barcelona for family reasons. And shortly after that, I accepted the offer from Juan Laporta to become CEO of the club. Because even back then, when he was first appointed as the CEO, there was a feeling that maybe Reverter wouldn't be in that role for the real long term, that maybe it would only be a short-term partnership between the two. Reverter said, these have been passionate months and I thank the president for his trust and above all his enthusiasm and capacity for leadership that mean FC Barcelona now has a first-class executive team that is able to reposition Barca as a world leader. So Reverter there, full of praise for Laporta and strongly believes that Barca are on the right path. Reverter did say, personally, I have put in much effort during these time, a lot of dedication, he said, but now my wish is to focus on the reason why I returned to Barcelona, which is to spend more time on my personal and family projects. And I think in all honesty, guys, what I would like to do there, having heard those words and the explanation that Reverter himself has given for that exit, I think what we have to do is take that at face value. What we have to do there is say, you know what, we cannot even imagine to understand the kind of situation he arrived into here. The amount of work that he's had to put in in just these months that have gone by in order to turn the club around, in order to actually sort out and find a way through that financial situation. You could actually say right here, yes, he's only been here just under a year, but in that time, he's probably done several years worth of actual work. So it's been a really, really hard period. Maybe he just feels as though it's job done. He's come in, he has changed an enormous amount in a very, very short space of time. It has been demanding, and he may just feel here, especially on the verge of this sponsorship deal with Spotify, that you know what? I've done and I've achieved what I came in for, and somebody now can come in maybe for the long term. And it's just time now for him to go away with his family back in the city of Barcelona. He's earned some relaxation time. He's earned some family time, and I do wish him all the very best. Relax now in a beautiful city. But of course, guys, what we do have to discuss 
is that Spotify deal indeed? Because obviously Barca right now are on the verge of announcing their new sponsorship deal, a multi-year deal with Spotify. And I just want to compare today all of the details that we've learned about that deal with Spotify and comparing them to our previous deal with Rakuten. Because right now, as we know, we've said before on the channel, the current deal with Rakuten equates to 55 million per year. And in exchange for that, they are the main sponsor of the Barcelona shirt. So that is exactly what they get for that money. They're our main sponsor, 55 million per year. But I think what we do have to remember here, when we're moving on to this Spotify deal, we're moving on to the differences between the two. Remember... We have lost Lionel Messi. We are still in the process here of recovering as a club in many different ways without the biggest football star on the planet. It is as simple as that here because many, many people thought that coming into these negotiations when it comes to new deals, new sponsorships, everybody thought they're obviously going to be less. Barca are not going to bring in the same amount of money as when they had Messi. But as you're going to see, this Spotify deal, we may give away a bit more, but this is still massive for our club. Because according to widespread reports, Barca are on the verge of announcing a three-year deal with Spotify, which is going to be worth 280 million euros there, which equates to 93.3 million per year, which of course, looking at that existing deal with Rakuten, 55 million compared with 93, that is not even far away from doubling that amount, and especially when you consider the Rakuten deal dropped during COVID times, this year is a big, big increase. There's no two ways about it. But, like I say, there are a few more things here that we are giving away in return for that huge, huge fee from Spotify because they will become the main shirt sponsor for not only the men's team, but Spotify will also be sponsoring Barca Femini. And it is also worth pointing out there that Barca Femini's current shirt sponsor of Stanley was reportedly worth 3.5 million per year. But now both the men and women will both carry the Spotify name. Spotify will also sponsor the Barca training shirt as well. Their name will appear on the training gear. But I think the big one, the one that really stands out to all of us here, is that Spotify will also have title rights to the camp now, which is a very, very big deal indeed. What I do want to specify on that, though, is there's a very big difference between title rights and naming rights. Because if Spotify there were just handed the naming rights to the camp now, they would basically be allowed to name it whatever they wanted. Whatever came into their mind, they could completely remove the words camp now and call it something like the Spotify Stadium. But with title rights, they can only add their name upon the already existing name of the stadium. So it may be something like the Spotify Camp Now, Camp Now Spotify, something along those lines. But title rights, like I say, very big difference there between that and naming rights. And Barca are also expected to add there a sleeve sponsor, which will be a completely separate sponsor to Spotify, which could also bring in an additional 20 to 30 million per year when that's agreed. And I think, honestly, guys, when you are looking at the breakdown of that deal there, I know a lot of people are saying, you know, did we have to give away the title rights to the stadium? Could we have got more money? But like I say, what you do have to bear in mind is that this is a huge deal at a huge time for our club right now, having lost Messi, having huge struggles financially, and to now be on the verge of signing a deal of this size with this kind of increase, of course we've had to give away a bit more than maybe we bargained for. But I think it's also important as well, that in terms of those title rights, in terms of changing the name of the stadium, it's still only a three-year deal. So it's not like here we've signed away 10, 20, 50 years of the camp now being called something very different. The title rights there, as far as I'm aware, will only be for that three-year period before, of course, an extension or a new agreement or whatever would take place. But I want to know what you think. I want to know here what you think on the face there of looking at those figures, looking at the comparison between Spotify and the Rakuten deals. What do you make here of what Barca have seemingly agreed? This is going to be announced very, very very soon indeed. And I do want to know exactly how you're feeling about this possible agreement. And of course as well, let me know your thoughts on Ferran Reveter's departure and what you make of that situation. I will of course see you soon guys with plenty more indeed to come. But I had to bring you this big news today and we had to really look at this deal in some detail. I hope you enjoyed the breakdown and I hope you're still 
riding the wave of happiness after our win over Atletico Madrid. I will see you soon, guys, and I thank you indeed for your great support. But until next time, as always, Vizca, El Barca. Oh.